Hello and welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to do a design for someone. So just like the other video, they're not all going to be the same size because they are actually going to be fitted on someone's hand. I'm using Madame Glam. I Lime You because she likes green. That's her favourite colour. Perfect Black. And then for the natural shade, Old Town by Madame Glam. So we'll start with um, the thumb. So with the thumb, I'm just going to do two coats of black. Not too thick because black always seems to be a little bit harder to cure right through. So I'll just take a bit of that off. Keep wiping it and popping it back in the bottle. So I'll pop that in the lamp, do a second coat and then be right back. Right, I decided that I wanted three nails black in the end, so I've done two coats of the black. Just look at that black, it's absolutely gorgeous. Now I'm going to use the green, because it's this lady's favourite colour, so I'm going to do these two nails in green. Again, the first coat, just don't paint it too thickly. If you can hear strange noises, the dogs are playing. They've decided to run around as soon as I put the video on, so I do apologize. a nice soft green and I thought that this pastel shade was perfect. There we go. So I'll pop that in the lamp for one minute. Right, so that's out the lamp. I'm just going to do a second coat now. It's a really pretty colour. Again, you don't need to do it thick, especially with Madame Glam. It's just such a quality polish. don't think I have any Madame Glam where you need to do three coats, unlike some companies. I think uh, two, com two coats is plenty. And there's your random dog hair, ruining everything. Try and brush that out. Out it goes, go away dog hair. There we go, okay. So pop that in the lamp again. Right, what I'm going to do, it's out the lamp. I'm going to get my um, Wow Bow brush. Now when you buy your Wow Bow brush, it won't look like this. I dropped this yesterday into the brush cleaner. So it's, it's sort of made this like cracked ice. I, I don't know what's gone on, but anyway. I managed to salvage it. It does still work, but all this is totally ruined. You'll be able to see little crystals and things in there, but I can no longer do so. Right, so I'm going to, um, if you can see that in shot, 
I'm going to do that with my brush, sort of wipe it through and that gets all the bristles to stick together, see? And then just start pulling it out because I want it to be quite slim at the top. I don't want sort of a, a ball at the end. And then what I'm going to do, just tilt this a little bit, is sort of drag from here. So I want the center, which is about there. And I want to drag it outwards. I don't know if I should have that steady. I think I'll have that steady actually. I like to start sort of more on the inside and then just start dragging it outwards because it's easier to move out than it is to erase a mistake. I've got the thickness I want there, now I need to start bringing it out. So. sort of straighten that up a little bit so let the brush do the work like that. and again the other way so I'm just coming out Just keep doing that until you're happy. I don't want it any thicker at the top now, so it's just a case of bringing that line across. really difficult to get both sides. I just need to come <laughs> just need to come one more stripe this way now. Okay, that'll do. brush and I'll pop that in the lamp. Right I've had that out of the lamp I'm only going to do the one coat of the black because now I'm going to cover it in Wow Bow gem glue. There it is. So I'll just line of glue, line of glue, line of gems, 
It's quite thick, so I'm just going to put a little bit on and then I'm going to smoosh it. Like that. Get that off. So I'll get my gem picker and this part, just going to sort of smoosh it around. Make sure it's covered everywhere. There we go. Just wipe the end with my paper. green ones here that I'm going to be popping on because she's liking green so I've just got to work out what size now I'm thinking maybe a medium sort of size that's a good start I dropped it that at the top there yeah that fits perfectly so um, what I'm going to do is just get a load of these pop them down here see how they all fall upside down I need quite a few gems so I just scoosh them with this and then it's just a case of filling it in with these stones. And then as she's moving her hand around, she'll catch the light. So you get the general idea of what I'm doing, I hope. Can you see that? I'll turn it round. I always find it easier to move the stand round and then just mimic on the other side what I've just done. look at all different angles make sure that it's nice and even and then just start filling in the middle where it'll fit obviously that's a little gap there so I'll have to put some smaller ones in it's the beauty of these packs of gemstones they have all the different sizes as well. Oh, that's not letting go. There we go. So anyway, I'll just carry on filling this in and then I'll come back. I've filled that in 
So there's the crystals. Now I'm going to do this one. And I'm going to do this with that fleshy tone, which again, I remind you, was Old Town from Madame Glam. So with this one, I'm going the opposite way. So I'm going to start here. This is the center. And I'm going to sweep upwards. Again, starting smaller so that I can work my way out to whatever size I'm wanting. And again, using my palette for the paint and sort of rolling the brush through the paint, which keeps all the bristles nicely behaving. Definitely going to need two coats of this. Need to go out a bit more. important. I'm going to just come out a little bit more on this side. Until there probably. So I'll pop that under for a minute. Back out the lamp and it definitely, definitely needs another coat. So again, just rolling it through the pad. Start in the middle, let the brush do the work and just follow it through. that's out the lamp so now what I want to do is just roll my brush through the black and I'm going to outline what I've just done so I'll just start in the middle here and I'll just follow that line through like that and then again roll in the brush just follow Oops, a little bit of a wobble on there like that and then what I want to do is I'm going to join across so first of all I'm going to take the cuff as thin as is humanly possible and then I'm going to swoop like that. Joining it here. Be 
careful when you get to the end here because it can flick and then it can ruin your whole design if, if you do that. Then one here, just working your way down, any pattern you want really. Another one coming across here. And then a teeny tiny one here. So there we go. So we'll pop that in the lamp. Okay, taking it back out of the lamp. I'm now going to put glue there, but because it's so fine, I'm going to use this and sort of blob it on to my gem picker and I'm hoping that it will be a little bit finer. It might not be, but actually it might not be. Right, so I'll start there and I just sort of string it down. It's not really any finer. Not much in it really. And again this side, just trying to walk it very finely down. like that because it's it's going to have gems on this bit you see so we want it nice and stuck on we don't want them coming off it would ruin the design if one of the gems fell off wiping that when I get my green gems again and sort of look at the size and decide what's size we need. I'm thinking maybe the second size from the smallest. Let's have a go at that, see what that looks like. Yeah. yeah, I think the second size from the smallest are all the points where they're going across and then maybe the smaller one after that, if that makes sense. So sort of I've done that with the second to smallest. Now I'm going to do the super tiny ones and I'm just gonna go along with these tiny ones, filling in everywhere that I've done a black line. Do you see what I mean? So I'll go along all the black lines and then I'll come back. Right, so I've followed all the lines and there we have the, can you see that, the crystals. So now we've got these three, so that's the thumb and then you've got the two fingers. And um, when she came she liked my stones, so I'm going to pop a couple of these on. So it's just a case of trying them, seeing what suits. That actually looks really nice. Goes with the shape as well, I quite like that. Yeah, I think that's a definite, I like that. Quite a big gem, so a nice big blob. 
so it stays put like a good gem. And just tip it a little bit towards me so I can see it properly. Oh, it's a good start, dropped it. Because it's so heavy, it doesn't hold for long. There we go. So we just want to make sure that that is where we want it. And pop that under. Right, I'm nearly done, but I wasn't that happy with that one. I felt it was a little top heavy. So I've given the lady an alternative, which is this one, which I think is, is a bit more in keeping with the set. So she's got a choice. She can have whichever one she wants. Not a problem. So, um, I'll just put them together and then come back with the reveal. Okay, there's the reveal. I'll be doing the same on the other hand. So I'll just show the one on camera. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe if you did. As usual, any ideas or comments or Anyone wanting to request a certain design, I'll give it a go, so let me know. Okay, bye for now. See you next time.